टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ नेवियस टू इक्वेशन इन ए सिलेंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट नाउ हियर दैट फ्लूइड फ्लो इज हैपनिंग इन ए हॉरिजॉन्टल सर्कुलर पाइप एंड फ्लो इज लैमिनर सो नाउ हियर द फिगर सोन दैट फ्लूइड इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू ए हॉरिजॉन्टल सर्कुलर पाइप एंड फ्लो इज फुल्ली डेवलप्ड दैट मींस द वेलोसिटी डजंट चेंज इन द longitudinal direction the velocity v varies only with r and the flow passes in a cylindrical coordinates now here i will apply navier stokes equation and i will find the velocity profile uh, inside the circular pipe now first continuity equation and navier stokes equation in cylindrical coordinate now continuity equation in cylindrical coordinates in r theta z is given by 1 by r do by do r r u r plus 1 by r do u theta by do theta plus do u z by do z is equal to 0 so this is continuity equation and here that r direction momentum equation this is theta direction momentum equation and z direction momentum equation so we have to first write all this continuity equation and navier stokes equation now then we will go one by one so first assumption what are the assumption so first we consider that is the steady flow means uh, do u by do t is zero or do by not only u so do by do t of something is equal to zero so here u is nothing but u theta u z and u r so do u by do t is actually zero and then consider incompressible flow means rho is constant and here we postulate that u is only uh, that is dz means unit vector uh, into uz of uz is function of r and z this postulate implies that there is a no radial flow so here we postulate that u r is equal to 0 so no tangential flow and u theta is 0 uh i mean no tangential flow means u theta is 0 so and that uz doesn't depend on theta and another is fully developed flow so no flow or variation of the properties in z direction so do of something by do z is equal to 0 so now based on that so we will uh, simplify navier stokes equation or continuity equation now here so ur is 0 u theta is 0 okay so here as steady fully developed laminar flow so u r is 0 u theta is 0 therefore the continuity equation simplify do u z by do z is equal to 0 this implies that u z is only function of r so u z is function u z of r means u z is only function of r means this horizontal direction u z is not changing but radial direction u will change now here so that navier stokes equation in cylindrical coordinate so now uh, we know uh, we, we already uh, consider assume that ur is 0 u theta is 0 okay and uh, do by do z of something is equal to 0 so based on that so ur is 0 so all this term will be vanish except this term okay so all this term will be vanish is 0 and u theta is also 0 so these are 0 except this term so all are zero now for z equation so do u z by do t so this is steady so that is zero as u r is zero this term is zero u theta is zero this term is zero and here do by do z so that is fully developed flow so this term is zero so this term will be there and mu into that as u z is a uh, function of r so that term will be there this term will be there and here that uz is not varying with in theta direction so that will be zero and as fully developed flow so do square uz by do z uh, z square that will be zero so we have I mean after doing that we will we'll get that simplified simplify uh, simplification of axial direction e equation or we'll get that equation so r equation of motion is minus that do p by do r is zero uh, then theta equation of motion minus do p by do theta is zero and z equation will be minus here so z equation minus do p by do z plus mu do square u z by do r square plus 1 by r do u z by do r so that we'll get from z equation of motion now for a steady flow 
steady fully developed laminate flow through a horizontal pipe we know ur is 0 u theta is 0 and u0 is a function of r so, and so here the pressure gradient is constant I mean do, uh, do, del p by del z is actual, actually constant so navier stokes equation in the z direction simplifies to so 0 is equal to so we will get this from this equation simply so 0 is equal to minus dp by z plus mu dot square u z by or delta r square plus 1 by r delta u z by delta r now here we are taking this term uh, the left hand side and 1 by mu dp by dz is the other side now so the dp by dz is constant so this whole term is constant now next we have to do integration so now first integrating the simplified equation with respect to r okay so if i do the integration so we will get this r duz by dr then 1 by mu, mu dp dz uh, that r square by 2 plus c1 okay so here sorry this we can write so d by dr r into uz correct we can write that that is equal to 1 by mu dp by dz so from that if we do the integration we will get this if i do uh, that simplification so duz by dr is equal to 1 by mu dp by dz r by 2 plus c1 by r now again we have to do the integration so now okay the first uh, we have to put the boundary condition so a uh, boundary condition the shear stress is 0 at the center line so r is equal to 0 so duz by dr is equal to 0 so c1 will be 0 so we have that duz by dr is equal to 1 by mu dp by dz r by 2 so now again uh, integrating once more so we will get that uz is equal to 1 by 4 mu dp by dz r square plus c2 now here c2 is the integration constant c1 also integration constant so we have to find c2 so how do we find c2 so we, again we have to use another boundary condition so uz is equal to 0 at r is equal to r means at all that no slip boundary condition so uz is equal to 0 so from here uh, if i plug that r is equal to capital r and uz is equal to 0 so 0 is equal to 1 by 4 mu dp by dz r square plus c2 so here c2 is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dz r square so now if we plug that c2 here okay so ultimately that equation become so that uz of function of r is equal to 1 by 4 mu dp by dz r capital r square minus small r square so r is the variable so this is actually the velocity profile now so uh, that here you can see so this velocity profile is a parabolic profile okay so now if i put that r is equal to 0 okay so what will be the, the velocity so that velocity will be minus dp by here dp by dz not x dp by dz okay dp by G, dz r square by for me so that will be the maximum the velocity at the center of the pipe so now we got the velocity profile and maximum velocity that is dp by dz capital minus dp by dz capital r square by 4 that's it